Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome His Holiness, the Stig. It used to be fun for me, I'd be down at pub or something, standing next to a couple of people saying, who do you think the Stig is? And I think we're well, standing next to him, actually, mate. But, but you, you didn't say that. No, 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 <laughs> not even for free lager, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Perry McCarthy overtaking Damon Hill in the footwork MC041. Would you go back into F1? No, 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 I've done my bit. I've, uh, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> it all happens, yeah. yeah. It's, well, um, it's about three quarters of your book. <laughs> yeah. yeah, flat out, flat broke, 799, published by... Thank Hans. you very much. <laughs> 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 Formula One driver, Harry McCarthy, better known as the Stick from Top Gear, to put the car through its paces whilst completing an Amazon order. The campaign was a huge success, and it generated an enormous amount of discussion in motoring forums. The stresses and strains on the cars are enormous. I mean, we're pulling around 3G under braking, 3G under acceleration, same thing with lateral corner forces. All in all, we have to be quite fair. Hello, I'm Perry McCarthy and welcome to a very special edition of Motorsports World because we're here at the world famous Goodwood Festival of Speed. And on behalf of the Rat Pack, we'd like to make a small presentation. Fellow rodents, Perry McCarthy, Martin Donnelly, Mark Blundell and Johnny Herbert. Well, you always need luck, obviously, as your career shown. <laughs> Now we're standing here at Old Hall Corner, which is a very challenging corner. From way back in 1984, I kind of failed to challenge a bit. None other than Perry McCarthy, everybody. Perry McCarthy. It is so special. It just makes you feel fantastic. Boy, did Perry McCarthy take advantage of this. Did you really drive over the aircraft carrier? No, I actually would have been killed. Oh. Yeah. 